White Linen Night is a great time to stroll through the French Quarter and uh, check out all the art, the music, and more. And this year, the Roderick Foundation is, uh, is a, the Broderick Foundation of the Arts is having a special exhibit opening on Saturday, just in time for White Linen Night. And Mike Haas is over there inside looking at some of George Roderick's beautiful art. You're right, Eric. This is a unique opportunity. Saturday night, uh, White Lennonite on Julia, 5.30 to 9.30. But here at the George Rodrigue Arts for the Found Foundation for the Arts, uh, you have a chance to see something that many people have never seen. It is 40 works of art uh, that he did back in the early 80s that have never all been together. And you can see that at White Lennonite. We're at 747 Magazine. Julia is about 20 yards. This is Jacques Rodrigue. Uh, George, your father, passed away in, in 2013. But what a wonderful work of art. And these paintings like you said, have never been together. How, how did this happen? That's right. Uh, well, the whole collection started uh, tied to the World's Fair, which was in 1984. Mm -hmm. And Dad was commissioned to paint uh, paintings to go with a book of Cajun ghost stories. Yeah. So here, here's the book. So it's 40 ghost stories that are in this book. And Dad did 40 paintings of these Cajun figures for this book that was released in 84. And it took Dad about three years to paint this whole collection. And it's been in a, in a private house and residence uh, since then and this is the first time we've displayed it all together because you have two paintings that you didn't that you recently got to to get all 40 of them together is really unique definitely yeah there were two that were not a part of the collection so when we got those two back for the partnership that owns them uh, we knew that it was a great chance at Whitney White Linen Night to show them off to the public for the first time now, little did he know that back during his time he wrote one of the ghost stories was about Lou Guru, and that, that, of course, being what eventually would become the Blue Dog. Not, 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 not at first, but I mean, he, and he drew several of these after that. Talk about that. Correct, yeah. So the uh, Lou Guru is kind of a Cajun werewolf dog. It's a story that his mom would tell him growing up, if you're bad today, the Lou Guru will get you tonight. And there was one story in this book about a Lou Guru, and he had never painted that particular legend before. And so he used the picture of his old dog named Tiffany as the model for this first Lugaru painting, which is here uh, on display uh, for the first time at the Rodrigue Foundation with the entire collection. And as, as you watched that picture and, and, and the color of that dog, and you do, you and I were talking, you watched Blue Dog evolve over, over 20, 30 years. Yeah, you know, so many people like to kind of pigeonhole dad into one genre, but he was uh, very prolific and uh, evolved through his whole career. So uh, fans of the Blue Dog will be very surprised by this exhibit to see what he has painted. And uh, the Blue Dog itself evolved many, many times over the years. Talk about the foundation and kind of how it progresses and, and what it's doing. Well, you know, dad started the foundation in 2009 to make sure the arts were taken seriously in schools. Uh, so many people think the arts are about fluff, uh, but the research shows the complete opposite. Uh, when students have arts in their schools, they score better, have higher attendance, and fewer discipline problems. Uh, and it's got to be harder now because with budget cuts out there, I mean, it, it's, it's, you know, that and music and theater, sadly, are one of the first to go. That's right, and that's why we have programs to make sure that uh, students have the art supplies they need and that the teachers are trained in how to use arts in their everyday classrooms. We, we see in these 40, and Jeff's showing them now, the, the, the oak tree. The oak tree at that point was, was a big focal point for him. Yeah, for Dad, uh, starting off, he, he called the oak tree his Campbell soup can. It was what tied his whole work together. And what's also interesting about this collection is how surreal it looks. It, it looks like it's uh, inspired by Salvador Dali. Uh, very, very uh, avant-garde. Uh, abstraction, um, weird, weird paintings that are that are uh, to go with the stories. <laughs> to go with the story, right? I mean, they're ghost stories. Yeah, you have people floating in trees. You have, uh, you know, Jean Lafitte on the bayou uh, in three different times. It's it's crazy. Jacques Rodrigue, thank you very much. Again, it's White Linen Night. There's a possibility it might be a little toasty on Saturday night, 5.30 to 9.30. Go check it out at Julia again here at the uh, Foundation for the Arts. George Rodrigue is at 747 Magazine. Pop in, take a look at some works of art that you will not see together again. So we will send it back to the studio. All right, fun night in the warehouse. Thank you, Mike.